Welcome to the new Paladins Top 5 Plays. My name's Enuki and we've got 5 amazing plays for you to see. Vox, show us what they got. Come forward, whelp. Test your morals against my steel. War Van Dam starts us off this week with an early kill onto Tyra as Blue Team's payload pushed near completion. Time is running out though, and Billow's presence helps store out the enemy. Sin escapes towards the team with Whirl and Count for some protection, enemy dredge and can narrowly off the mark. A few shots thrown out, Zin redirects to the objective as the enemy contests, and Spider's channel down drops a sliced dice and served up on a platter! A couple more quick slashes finish off Ruckus. Convergence is launched, but Counter, it blocks the pull and the blade slashes out to eliminate Ceres on contact with her soul orb. Tyra returned from spawn is the new focus, and she's made short work of for the Quadra. Makoa's in pender position, but as the sword connects, Fernando's afterburn steals the kill away. Ah, oh, so close. But at the end of the day, the objective is what matters, and that's a defense nonetheless. Oh, come on, Zin, pick up that sword, it's not the end of the world. What's the difference between arrogance and pride? Lifespan. Shigaturas up next, and as Maeve blinds the enemy, they engage as Lian alongside Makoa to clean out two kills very quickly inside the enemy's base, clearing the path, if you will. But Rocker sets up a high on defense and forces Shigatura back. Follow the reload, and a few shots thrown out, and Inara chipped away at. Her reinforced surface is a little too hardy for that easy kill, but Hexafire from the high ground locks down the angle, and Lian seeks refuge behind a handy tree stump to avoid the incoming fire. Evil Mojo comes out for the defenders too as well, but Mikaz able to pop right out of the polymorph. Inara chained down. Convergence is attempted, but Enlightenment's immunity stops it in its tracks, and the Siren of House Icon loses their Phoenix to surge through all three stacked up enemies for an immediate quadra kill. Call that spray well deserved. The payload rolls on through. The year is after Paladin 195, Operation Fireball. You know, not all top plays revolve around massive damage. Well, though that does often help, but Sikimimi positions with a critical immortal to keep Barrack alive in order to plant dome shield, carving space out between enemy and ally. Convergence nets in all five, and channel elapsed fireball connects to incinerate two in the blink of an eye. Flame Lance continues to pour out damage, and the last of this Ice Mine's resistance melts away before the cackle of the self-proclaimed knight. You will remember this as the day you almost caught Pip the Fire Thief. It's another combo up next. Pip and Saris? Oh no, I see where this is going. That's a big flank coming out of the blue team trio and Nobi seems to have noticed. Convergence connects, waters fuel down the seismic crash and evil mojo collide for the ultimate chicken surprise and a catalyst fueled one shot triple kill from Jeremy Channel. Oh my goodness, praise Grofer. Not even Torvald can escape this decimation, no matter how fast they try to run. That's it! Keep talking, Pally! You about to get messed up! Owly Eagle soars in now on the Winter Witch, in a play that'll make your mind melt. No, seriously, if you have motion sickness, be warned, Over the Moon Eevee is no joke. Beautiful Ice Block to counter out, Dredge Anchor up to the high ground again, Makoa is used as a damage sponge to charge up Ice Storm in preparation for the next play. Blink then Soar for the bonus damage, take them in, Ice Storm drop onto three, Lian's the primary focus as Blink and Soar redirect once again to follow up on Strix, missed, then Ceres, then to the high ground again to reload. Inara's the next target for this Luminary buff monster as a mid-kill skill rotation spray is laid down for Style Point as the Ice Staff crashes home. Soar chases Stamako a blink shot ice block for safety once again. That's a cleanup on an easy kill, and I mean, poor Strix, how are you gonna run from that? I'll take an oof, please, as Leon takes a pot shot and gives up her position. Evie soars in as Grace is used to escape the red teammates in Lightman in panic, but Leon, didn't you know that ice beats Phoenix? We'll go with Phoenix. That's it for this week. Thank you, Vox. To submit your play, check the video description and fill out the form. You can find Vox and myself on Twitter. Give us a shout. Or if you're having trouble submitting a play, buzz Anuki on Discord. See you again next time for the Paladins Top 5 Plays.